everybody. My name is Nyan. I'm the Black Female Engineer. I provide content for you and aspiring software engineers. And today we are talking about all the things Coding Bootcamp taught me. Speaking of coding boot camps, I would like to thank Flatiron School for sponsoring this video. I actually went to Flatiron School two years ago, a year and a half ago, and I am I'm in love with everything that came out of it. But we'll get more into that a little later. So first, yeah, there's a lot that going to a coding boot camp will teach you. And so let's get into it. Number one, and it's so funny because when I when people said this to me, I very much rolled my eyes. I was like, okay. But <laughs> number one is, and this is truly like the biggest one, coding bootcamp taught me how to learn. And I know how this sounds. I know you can stop rolling your eyes at this, but it's insane when you think about, <laughs> I think it's because I'm on this side of it now where I am an employed developer and I get it now, but you are constantly learning on the job. And especially when you are learning a whole new language, I learned four different languages slash frameworks while at Flatiron School. And that was in 15 weeks. And so when you think about that, you learn how to learn quickly you learn how to pick up different languages and different functions and scripts and frameworks rapidly quick because you had to do that during coding bootcamp and now you're in a new job and it is probably like your biggest skill for my job i needed to know python guess how long it took me to learn python pause the video put it in the comments i'm serious like let's let this be a discussion a fun little game Put it in the comments below. Pause. Okay, it took me a solid 30 minutes. Now, because I knew these other languages, when I was faced with a coding problem or a coding task, I knew exactly how I would solve it but I just didn't know the specific syntax. But I knew, oh, I wanna put an if statement here and I wanna then put a for loop here um, and whatnot. And so all I needed to do was look up how to create an if statement in Python, then boom, there it was. How to create a for loop in Python, and then boom, there it was. Going to a coding bootcamp just teaches you how to learn like no other. And so that is something I am extremely, extremely grateful for. So that's one. Number two, going to a coding bootcamp taught me how to approach a problem so that I can solve it as efficiently and quickly as possible. When I say a problem, I mean quite literally like a coding task. So let's say you're creating an app where users want to add things to their shopping carts. And so now you need to figure out how to create functions so that when they click on add to cart, the item that they're looking at gets added to their cart and you know stays there and they can access it later and whatnot. Going to a coding bootcamp taught me how exactly to approach the problem. And so let me give you an example. This sounds like a huge undertaking, like, oh my goodness, how am I going to add something to a cart and then let it stay there and it, da, da, da. like, it sounds like a whole thing. So I would get now when I'm working and everything, my whiteboards are my, where are they? Like I've, I've moved, um, if you haven't, if you haven't been able to tell, I moved, so everything's everywhere. So I can't show you my whiteboard. If you've seen other videos, you know I have multiple. So pre boot camp, I would just see that as just such a big problem. But then post boot camp, it's like, okay, how can we separate this into the smallest chunks possible so that this big chunk is now itty bitty chunks? And so I would say, okay, so first, the user needs to click something that says add to cart. And so first, you need to create a either a button or a text that says add to cart. So that's number one. Second, the program needs to be able to see, okay, so when they click on me, do something. And so that means I need to create an on click function. So yeah, on click, do something. Now three, on click, I want the item to be added to their cart. So I need to create a database of their cart so that every time they click, it grabs that item and puts it into the database. Four, and so you end up being able to just 
see things in just such a different light where something that seemed so huge and enormous before now is so possible through these little chunks. Like I just integrated some authentication for the company I'm working for, DreamWorks, for a web app I've been working on. And oh my goodness, I had never done anything like that before, but I was able to see it in a new light because of the skills um, that, yeah, Coding Bootcamp provided me. So that's number two. Number three, this is something that so many people I think I just have the wrong idea about. Coding is not a solo sport at all, at all. Now, before you get at me like, okay, well, my cousin Timothy over here does all the coding by himself. He's a solo programmer. He's the only programmer on his entire team in the entire company. And so what are you talking about? He, he does it solo. It is a solo sport. Um, actually. If you ask Timothy um, to pull up his search history, you will see likely lots and lots of searches for the coding and the functions and the problems he is trying to solve because there's such an amazing community of developers just out there in the world that so many problems that you run into as a coder, somebody has the solution. You are not likely, you are not the first person to run into this problem. Somebody out there has the solution. And so it is still a team sport, even if the team isn't right there with you, even if you're not talking, speaking with the team one-on-one, -on -one, it is still very much a team sport. When I attended and enrolled in firearm school, I was so overwhelmed in a good way of the community I was immediately part of. Let me set the scene for you. Just women and men from all different backgrounds, both professionally and personally and demographically, looking to do an amazing thing. Become a software engineer in a solid 15 weeks. Now, if that doesn't get y'all close, <laughs> I don't know what will because, oh my goodness, the respect we have for one another, for one, taking this huge step for being brave enough to pursue something like this and also for just being in the thick of it. And we just wanted nothing but the best for one another. And so that's really where it seeped in. Like, wow, yeah, no, coding, the, what the movies say with the one person with the 10 screens just coding along and he is just in his own bubble and doesn't talk to anybody and he is just such this introvert and whatnot, it is usually not true at all. Flatiron School provided me this community of future software engineers looking to do nothing but succeed in their career transition, and I'm so, so grateful for that. Along with that in general, even though that's a big chunk of um, what I credit my success to, you're providing so much guidance and just what's the word like I, I have this like visual of like someone just like leading someone like down a path and you just like going through it of course you know it's not as magical and beautiful when you're in it because it is a lot you're trying to do like I said a huge thing in a short amount of time but the amount of guidance they give you the amount of instruction the amount of attention they give you is truly insane and so if you have been thinking about attending a coding boot camp Flatiron School may be the one for you as a student it was very clear to me that their number one goal was to get me hired get me hired because that's that's the whole point of them. And I very much felt that from the very first day of lessons to all the way in my job hunt. It definitely is a time and monetary investment, but oh my goodness, like take it from me, y'all, I had $50 in my bank account before I enrolled in Flatiron School. I've actually mentioned this in other videos. I'm being truly so serious with you. And then 15 weeks after I enrolled, I received my very first job offer. And then by the end of that month of October, which is when I graduated, by the end of that month, here I was signing my six figure job offer. And so it is just so crazy how quickly you can go from one situation to the next. And now is a great time to do that. We've all been given this new start. I've been feeling great. I've been, if you follow me on Instagram, you know the like energy I've been on lately. I've been feeling so amazing because I just feel that 2022 is just the year where we are going to grow. We are going to level up. We are going to pursue everything that we have set on to pursue. And we are going to do the thing, you know, we're going to 
we're gonna go and so check out the link in my description box below to apply if you're not ready to apply yet and you want to still see what type of career paths you can go through Flatiron School is actually offering free lessons in their different courses because they don't just have software engineering they have software engineering yes you can go on the path to become a data scientist you can go the cybersecurity route or the product design route so there's a different path for the different interests you have and so if you don't know what that is yet or you kind of know but you want to test the waters check out the free lessons the link is in my description box so definitely definitely check that out and see what all 2020 can do for for you. And the very last thing that going to a coding bootcamp taught me is coding is much more creative than you think. I've heard people talk about, oh, you must have this analytical mind and this like, oh my goodness, like math, math, math and all of this. I'm not going to say they're wrong. I'm not going to, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> I'm just saying there's so much beauty and creativity in code that more people need to talk about because you it's so weird to think about it because I, I know I'm talking about you know a computer and software you know how with painting you can kind of just go freehand and you kind of have an idea of how you want it to go but not really and so you're just like letting you know the brush and everything lead you and you're just like in that moment honestly honestly a lot of times that's how coding for me that's what it feels like it's like okay so I know what I want the end result to be but I don't know how exactly to get there and so I'm just going to keep trying a bunch of things out and just find the beauty in all the different solutions um, possible because there are so many different solutions possible in just a regular one assignment or code or problem and that process is just such a beautiful process especially and this is gonna sound weird but especially when things don't work out and you're now challenged to find a different ap approach it's there that the magic happens where you thought you had it down and now you see it just not gonna work out and so you must find some other way to get put everything together to get that final product and then it works oh my goodness you feel like an artist you feel you feel so great um as you can see i really love my job y'all i i really do um so yeah there's just so much that this journey can teach you and i'm just so excited for you to see all of these things for yourself and have your own takeaways and so check out flat iron school again the link is in my description box below yeah let's make 2022 be the year where we're just so in love with our lives and our careers and just every aspect of our lives. Flatiron School can definitely help you do that. So yeah, thanks y'all. I'll talk to you later. Bye.